What is good, Neo family? It's Ray J back with another video. And this one, I want to talk about the market and break down some very important levels. I'm also going to talk about why tomorrow is going to be a very important day and some very important things to look at as a Neo trader and investor. I'm going to be keeping this video very, very short, very simple because I'm very late today and I feel very tired. If anything, let me first say that I'm not a financial planner. I take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire community as a whole. Anyways, let's talk about Neo. Let's talk about what's going on with the market. Looking right now, you guys can see that the market's still on an uptrend. Technically, we're making higher highs and higher lows. But don't forget, we have a quadruple bearish divergence on the S&P 500. We're seeing something very similar developing on the charts. And there's going to be a risk of some downside because of that. So you want to be open minded to this. Looking at some news right now, there's some news coming out that the new EL7 has to instantly swap with its battery, and there's actually some new videos that came out about this. Good news so far, and as of October 26th, Neo had 2,000 power swap stations. This has been updated just recently. Not bad whatsoever as they're continuing to grow. There's also this news right here that Neo put on their Twitter page that nine years of striving, innovation, and determination to create the best experiences for their users uh, thanks to them and thanks to their support, that's why they're blue skies ahead. That is even more great news. Looking at what's going to be happening tomorrow, which is going to be Monday. At 10 o'clock a.m., we have new home sales coming out. Uh, we have the two-year note auction, the six-month bill auction, the three-month bill auction, and all these other auctions coming out. And we'll be watching to see how this ends up changing as time goes on. But don't forget, the first thing that's worth noting for tomorrow is at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have some more data which could affect how the market moves. Now, moving forward, I just want to call out that if you look at Tesla thus far, Tesla is looking like it's trying to base right now, and we might see a decent move. We have a nice cup and handle like formation. This chart looks bullish, and I think there's going to be some nice upside coming. Uh, if you want to look at something else like Apple, Apple's looking different. Apple's starting to look a bit more bearish. This chart looks quite bearish, and it looks like it's going to see a little pop up here before a drop towards this 188 area. And this could lead to some selling for the S&P 500. There just hasn't been a confirmation of this breakdown to 453 just yet. I believe it's going to test 453 soon. It could pop a little bit more before we get that move to the downside. We get ready for some possible downside thanks to Apple. If we look at NVIDIA stock, NVIDIA is down 1.93% on a slight downtrend. You can see that this thing is looking more bearish. Look for a little rebound. You get a back test of the 50 EMA at 485 in rejection. And we're going to likely see a bit more downside. So look at a little pop and drop. And watch support at 468. We'll see how it holds from there. To add on to this, I just want to call out that uh, there's some other important levels to be watching for on the charts. For the QQQ, the QQQ is currently down just a bit. Not looking too bad whatsoever. Now, we have this triple bearish divergence on the triple Q. And Apple could be the catalyst that starts bringing the market down. We'll be watching to see what news comes out. But don't forget with new home sales coming out in the morning, we'll see how that affects us amongst the other pieces of data. It could pop a little bit more. It is possible it tries to go a bit higher, but I think that there's going to be moved to the downside towards this 384 area. There's going to be a risk of some downside. So I want to warn you all about that. The market looks like it has some risk. Now what about for Neo? What am I seeing on the chart? It looks very boring, very stationary. We're going to see a big move starting on December 1st or by Friday. So I think we're going to start off very, very weak. Look for a back test of 7.56 and just some very boring, choppy price action because when you look at the Neo chart, it's just getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And I, I believe it's going to just continue to remain very tight. And then we should be seeing a very big move aligning with December. So with the market selling off, maybe we trade size, maybe we sell off just a little bit like this, but then look and see what happens after December 1st. Are we going to get a push to the upside thanks to deliveries? Are we about to see some downside? We'll just have to wait and see. But I believe it's going to be very boring. I think it's going to be very sideways. I think the market could drag Neo down a bit later on for the week, at least based off technical solely. But don't forget to be watching this data coming out in the morning to see how that ends up affecting the share price. All right, guys, so that's it for this one. I'm going to keep this video very short. Once again, guys, I told you all that I just came back uh, and I'm very, very busy. But I'll be talking more about this later on. With that said, I just want to thank you all so much for listening. Have a great weekend, all, and I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, for the next video. Have a great day and peace out.